You seem nervous. I am a little. I haven't been on a date in years. Really? Why? It's just work. I'm busy and I travel a lot. And... And... This is gonna sound horrible. Okay, please, how bad can it be? Pretty bad. Okay, let's just get the bad thing out of the way and then we'll be on a whole new level of trust. It just seems a little early for this. Look, if this is going anywhere, then we need to be able to trust each other. Even with those deepest, darkest secrets. Okay, okay. My last girlfriend was a police informant. Oh my God. Yeah. What did you do? Well, she recorded a lot of important stuff. Mm -hmm. And I didn't want to piss off one of my regular clients. Yeah. So I, I had to kill her. Really? Yeah. That's the terrible thing? What? That's the deep, dark secret? Yeah. Um, what were you supposed to do? Really? Yeah. Holy shit, exactly. That's what I said. You're an assassin. She's an informant. What were you gonna do? Let her lock you up? Exactly. I would have done the same thing. I'm so glad you feel the same way. You have responsibilities, you have clients you have to keep happy. Yes. You would have had to move, change your name. Uh -huh. You would have had to kill everyone she told information to. I am so happy we're on the same page about this. See, this is why there shouldn't be a taboo on hitmen dating. We understand each other so well. It's gotten to the point for me where if I'm not dating another hit person, I'm not dating anyone at all. Oh, I'm sorry I said hitmen, didn't I? <laughs> yeah, you did. It's okay, it's really not that big of a deal. No, no, I want to be respectful. This has just been such a male-dominated industry for so long. I've got a lot of bad habits sort of ingrained in me. Well, I appreciate you being aware of that. You know, if it weren't for women like Ariel Summers and Nicole Walker, I wouldn't be where I am today. Yes, Ariel Summers revolutionized the strangling technique for seed targets. I used that myself yesterday. <laughs> Cheers, Cheers to that. You almost caught me with my guard down. You too. There's something about you that's very disarming. Well, that's what makes me get my job. <laughs> you know I wouldn't poison you on a first date. Uh, we don't know each other that well yet. I know you're right-handed. You can hit a bullseye with an MK-12 rifle from 800 yards. You have an older sister who lives in Little Rock. While you were in Paris, you took up photography for a job, but you discovered you liked it, and ever since then, it's been a hobby. Well, I know. You are left-handed. You can hit a bullseye with a Bowie knife from 20 paces. Oh, who's counting? You're an only child, and your favorite TV show is Law and Order, Criminal Intent. <laughs> Reese. Did I do you my file? file? <laughs> I'm sorry, I have this compulsive habit of researching for any job. Job. So you did poison my wine? No. No, I, that's not what I meant. I'm kidding. But seriously, if you did try anything, my friend Stace is over there with a revolver, and she's an even better shot than me. You're not gonna believe this. No. Yes. Of course. My friend Derek is over there with a the revolver, too. That's perfect. I did not trust you at all. I still don't trust you. Wait, let me bring him over. Matt, this is Stacy. Hi, how are you? Nice to meet you. Jessica, this is Derek. Hello. Nice to meet you. I hope uh, Matt didn't see me over there. Even if I did, I would never admit it. He didn't. I pointed you out. Wow, you must be something special. Stop it. I feel very exposed. D, no agencies are doing surveillance on us right now. Relax. No, I mean, this is very awkward. I feel like a fourth wheel. Well, no one's asking you to join. We just wanted to introduce our backup to each other. This just doesn't meet my calculations for how the date would go. You've never improvised on the job, Derek? Yeah, Derek. Don't you ever improvise? 
No, I, I don't know. You can go back to my table. Wait a minute, wait, wait. I actually have an idea. Yeah? I don't know, I'm just throwing this out there. Why don't you guys take off? Really? Unless you don't feel comfortable. Actually, that would be nice. You're sure? Yeah, I'll be fine. I'm having a good time. Right. I'll take off. No, I don't mean take off as in leave the restaurant and find a sniper position a block away. I mean, actually take off. Oh. Well then, um, I'll just go. See you later. See you later. Bye. Bye, it was really nice meeting you. I feel much more comfortable now. Me too. So should we eat some of this food? I would love to. I poisoned poison your pasta. Your pasta. <laughs> <laughs> you would have been dead really quickly. I can imagine. I'm sorry, old habits die hard. I'll get the waiter. We should remember to tip him for the food we ruined. <laughs> Thank you for reminding me. 